Rockets can accelerate because they are actually staying still. Rocket engines are like pistons, throwing fuel out a certain direction, dramatically extending the total length of the rocket. Since the center of mass must stay in the same spot, the payload will move the other direction to compensate. This is a superior explanation to explaining rockets, which keeps the mass constant which never really changes in the real world due to the law of conservation of mass. The only time mass can change is due to nuclear reactions, such as the nuclear reactions that take place in the Kandu pressurized heavy water reactor in the Darlington Nuclear Generating Station at Clarington, Ontario. To be able to calculate the ratio between energy exerted versus the energy exported, we must first go over the idea of irregular extrapolation. Over here I have my LM692, a barcometer manufactured by Siglent. I also have my botometer, bogometer, and my bonometer. I'll get back to these in a moment because I've already sampled some data for us to look at, which can easily go into the Kornoff map, K-map for short, and we can calculate its determinant to solve for the position where it was. This easily explains why I'm using matrices here. Another big reason is that I want to avoid using mutable state, which the compiler can probably optimize better, especially when exceptions are disabled. Running the numbers, we can see from these results that an inverse invariant has occurred. This is a well-known byproduct of the Ryman Evdokia method. We can follow up with plotting a few circles in non-standard form. From here, I'd like to use RB1A actual bird, which is what RB2S tosserfish-T0 is based off of. Once crucial irreversible progress on the important parts are complete, we must perform a negative coefficient linear transformation, better known as a mirroring. Graphics may look different and we can easily spot irregularities when mirrored. Here on location, it was a long time ago bamboo was outlawed, and this is the spot my graphics card used to stand before climate change destroyed my radio. <laughs>